There is a deep secret within the core of our planet that scientists have been trying to discover for centuries. Recent research, however, has revealed the latest facts about this mysterious and hidden interior of the Earth. A study published in the Journal of Science by researchers and geophysicists Jessica Irving and Wembo Wu of Princeton University in New Jersey, USA, together with Sai Dao Ni of the Institute of Geodesy and Geophysics in China, had proven the existence of mountain ranges and plains, some of which are hidden up to 660 kilometers below the Earth's surface. To identify this, they used the waves of the strongest earthquakes ever registered on the planet. This allowed them to find mountains, valleys, and various other topographies in the layers separating the upper and the lower mantle. This newly discovered layer has no official name so far, so the researchers have simply called it the 660-kilometer border. This information was obtained from so-called seismic waves, recordings of the heavy earthquake of 1994 in Bolivia which had a magnitude of 8.2 and shook the sparsely populated Amazon region. It was the second strongest deep quake ever recorded. Earthquakes of this magnitude are very rare. Since the number of seismometers has increased over the last 20 years and seismic instruments are becoming more and more sophisticated, it is now possible to collect significantly more data. These seismic waves can penetrate, reflect, or refract even homogeneous rocks when they encounter boundary zones or irregularities. When they reached the border of 660 kilometers, the scientists were amazed by the roughness of the zone, in other words, the large unevenness. According to them, this area is much rougher than the surface layer we are on. This roughness is also not evenly distributed. Just as the surface of the Earth's crust has vast mountain ranges and vast plains, there are, according to the scientists, also rough areas and flat surfaces in the 660-kilometer border area under our feet. The difference is that the mountains inside are larger than any existing on the Earth's surface. The scientists also examined a layer 410 kilometers further towards the center of the Earth, which is located at the upper part of the transition zone to the middle mantle. However, they did not find any similarly rough structures there. Geophysicist Wembo Wu commented that at the 660 kilometer boundary there is a larger topography than that of the Rocky Mountains or the Appalachians. For geoscientists, this area was a great opportunity for discussion. They questioned how heat flows through the mantle, whether the hot rocks are transported smoothly from the core mantle boundary to the tip of the mantle, or whether they are disrupted. Against this backdrop, there is some evidence to suggest that the upper and lower mantle are chemically different. This would support the theory that both layers do not have the same temperature and they are generally thermally very different. Others support the theory that there is no difference between the upper and lower mantle. For Jessica Irving, seismologists can only see the seismic waves moving through the interior of the Earth. However, this does not help us to understand to what extent the interior of the planet has changed in the last 4.5 billion years. The most surprising thing is that inside the Earth there are not only gigantic mountain ranges and vast valleys, but also enormous amounts of water in those same zones. Several studies have shown that there is three times more water in the interior of the Earth than the total of all the oceans on the surface of the Earth put together. Let us remember the research carried out to date on the Mariana Trench, where the deepest point of the world's oceans lie at a maximum depth of about 11 kilometers. The result was that the mantle can store much more water than previously assumed. It is also interesting to note that in April 2014, a group of scientists from the northwest of the United States analyzed the data of several seismographs that confirmed the existence of water at a depth of about 700 kilometers below the Earth's surface. Later investigations also showed that this was by no means an isolated case, but that this phenomena was encountered worldwide. There is a so-called transition zone in the mantle, which has large amounts of water located below its surface. The geophysicist Steve Jacobson 
commented that if only 1% of this area contained water, it would correspond to the amount of three times every ocean combined. It's also believed that there's even much more. Perhaps the most important study in this context was published in the journal Nature. It presented the results of a study on a diamond found in Brazil in 2008 in a small town called Juína in the state of Mato Grosso. Some local miners found it by chance, mixed together with the gravel they collected in a shallow river. During his research, a student discovered that the diamond, which is barely three millimeters in size, was of very little economic value. It contained a mineral called ringwoodite. To date, this mineral has only been found in meteorite rocks. It's able to store large quantities of water. This time, the origin of the mineral comes from the depths of 520 to 660 kilometers. Diamonds come from the deepest parts of the Earth and rise to the surface due to eruptions through volcanic rocks called kimberlite. The study was conducted by geochemist Graham Pearson and his team at the University of Alberta in Canada. The diamond found in Juina is probably around 100 million years old. The results of these investigations were really revealing. It looks like there seems to be a large ocean inside the Earth's mantle that is so large it could fill the oceans of this world three times with water. Scientists suspect that the water on the surface of our planet probably comes from inside the Earth. According to this, the theory that the water was caused by ice comets that fell to Earth millions of years ago is already being questioned. Today, scientists believe that everything that happens with climate change, weather, and the sea is directly related to tectonic activity. This fluctuates and moves continuously in the depths of the planet. Extensive studies and numerous calculations were carried out to confirm the existence of a gigantic ocean in an area between the upper and lower layers of the mantle, which lies between 400 and 600 kilometers below the Earth's surface. As we can see, in the depths there are not only enormous quantities of water, but also huge mountain ranges and plains, something really strange. These discoveries are extremely advanced and offer hope for the possibility that there might actually be life inside the Earth. Could it be possible that the countless myths and legends that speak of the existence of intraterrestrial civilizations are not entirely wrong? There are stories told all over the world, from the tribes of America to the sailors of Northern Europe. This is even mentioned in ancient Roman and Greek texts. But what is certain is that despite the many legends and the many scientific theories, nobody knows for sure what is actually in the deepest interior of our planet. For now, this will remain a mysterious and unknown world.